All right, so this may be an opportunity here. If we're back down to this area here, I'll show you. I'm going long. Ah, uh, one contract. Let's see if I can get a field on this. Okay, one contract. So that's uh, another 50 bucks right there, four ticks. So I knew price would come back. When price came back down to this area, this was the pullback right here. All right, price broke through. When price pushed down, swung lower, right? Price turned back around. Broke to the upside right here at 65 on the pullback right here is what you're looking for, okay? There was enough area to fill right here in a sense. The price may come up. It should come up here and test 66 and a quarter. It should. Um, so I'll show you. Okay. Come on. Don't do that. Okay. Come on. Take out right there. Boom. See what I'm saying? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Future Trading with Mike, and I appreciate everyone who's tuning in to watch this. Uh, my live recorded trading session here. This is me um, trading the E mini SP 500 this morning. Uh, primary trade is trade this market every single day. It's currently, uh, I think it's 950 right now. So um, I'm good and ready to start looking for interest now because the market has kind of calmed down. I like to wait 15, 20 minutes after the market opens pretty much to kind of wait for volatility to settle and look for, for entries. But yeah, if this is your first time watching one of the videos, thank you for uh, tuning in. However, you found the, found the channel or found this video here. Uh, after this video here and watching this here, maybe go back and look at some of the other videos. I mean, I'm a live price action trader. These are my pre or my, my recorded sessions here of me uh, live trading the market every single day. I post primarily five days a week, so that's you know pretty much all the trading sessions uh, Monday through Friday. So this is my means of income. So this is how I trade, and I'm a price action trader. And I pay I trade based on pullbacks, looking for projections. So if we look at yesterday's and, and those who have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys. You know I can't I appreciate I appreciate I can't say you know let you guys know how much I thank you guys for subscribing to the channel and liking the videos. I, I really appreciate it. Um, but looking at yesterday's price action, um, we well we made a high here. We have an all-time high here, forty-five nineties now. And what we see going on taking place now is kind of price moving sideways in a wedge. So price did pull back some overnight. I mean, pull back some yesterday into the session, and we have not taken out this high, this swing high up here yet at forty-five nineties. So price is kind of moving sideways. Um, we did have some swings to the upside. Price checking some levels. Uh, price pulled back. Was like, uh, well, pushed up, pulled back, pulled higher, pulled back here in a retracement, pulled back. Okay, um, and then push price push higher. So uh, basically, this price was stair stepping its way up yesterday before around until about ten thirty, and then selling, and then it kind of not sold off, but kind of pull, uh, pulled back. So so price came down and checked this area here. Um, let me see one thing. Do, 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 do. Let's see, let's see. All right, so yeah, uh, price pull back here. This would have been a entry to go along right here because uh, we got some rejection at this level right here. And price uh, rejected the area, okay? So, all right, let's see what's going to excuse me, take place this morning. So what I want to see happen is price come up and take out um, 4580. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Gotta catch my breath this morning. I'm gonna get a sip of coffee. But yeah, 4580 price take out this area right here. This swing, this high right here, this swing high right here. Um, this high right here. So when price pull it down, pull it back, push lower. It, it pull it back and make it a little high right here. And so far price can't, it's, it's not taking it out and moving sideways. And it's not breaking lower, taking out any. Actually, it did. It did push lower here. So let's see. It pull it pushed down, pull back, and then swing lower. So yeah, we do have a low right here. So uh, we have a swing low here, and then we have a swing high right here. So the swing is right here. Okay. So yeah, let's see what we got going on. So uh, um, hmm. Let 
me up. So I'm looking for, hmm, let's see. Chase. Okay. So we kind of got, we got a swing right here, but then we got these swings in between the swing. So, um, there's a swing right here, price pushed down, pulled back, and then it pushed lower here. So, so what we want to see is, let's see. Okay. So price did pull back. Um, price did pull back to this area right here. Okay. I see what it's doing. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, so I want to see it take out this area here, and then it's going to take this area here out. So, um, okay. Okay, so wherever, right now, price is moving sideways, and I don't want to really take a trade until I see, um, yeah, until I see something really happening in the market, guys. It's not, it's just not, um, I don't see anything that's interesting to me. Price is either going to break up and take out some levels or pull back within, uh, pull back and, and start breaking some levels to the downside. So let's wait and see. Okay, so price is uh, got a little bounce here. It's rejected from the tops up here. So um, let me take a look and see what we got here. Okay. All right, so price is, ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, come on. I'm I'm short guys, but I'm gonna put a yeah, put a contract right here. Um price should come on down here. A test. Okay, I'm gonna put my contracts. Come on. Okay. Alright, I'm I'm going short. There we go. Okay, we got field. Alright, I'm looking was looking for a pullback here. I looked, saw the rejection right here. Okay, so basically we had an M structure right here, kind of what somewhat, you know, M structure right here. And I was looking for more so the price to pull back. We didn't get the pullback, so I went ahead and entered short, knowing the price would come down here and test the VPOC there. So that's the first little trade of today. Um, you know, just waiting for the rejection. Okay, now the price is at a price is at um, the point of control and. I don't like trading around the PLC, so I'm standing down, and that's what I, uh, I'm not trading around that, that area, guys, so, okay, um, okay, prices, okay, let me see something, this is what I'm retracing right here, so from price push down, pull back, and push lower, on the retract trade, there was a rejection right there, right? So when price moved away from this area and pushed lower, um, it came back up and tested this area right here. There was demand, I'm assuming supply sitting right there. I was in an area of liquidity and price came back there. You can take a short right here, but that would have been at three something this morning. Price, is, price pushes uh, lower and then it pulls back to that area again, okay? Pulls back to that area again. And rejects that area again. So now, question is, what is price trying to do now? All right, let's look. Hmm. And price is at the VPOC, so be careful here. Um. Hmm. Yeah, be careful here. It could push lower and maybe come down here to 65. So, um, but I'm not sure yet because it's at the VPOC and, and price can, can pull either direction here at the VPOC. So we have to be careful here.
Okay, I'm going short. What did I say? 66, 65. Okay. 66 and a quarter. Okay, we got filled there. All right. Another little short entry. I went short to this area right here. Okay. Price is going to bounce when it gets in this area here. Remember, I said 65, didn't I? And it's price is hitting 65. There we go. All right. So that's two little scalp or two little trades there um, so far this morning. Today is the 27th of October. It's Wednesday. And uh, let's see what we got. Uh, okay, we have 20 ticks right now. Those two little scalp entries. I think about a point and a half each. Trading two contracts, something like that. Okay. So price is down at this high volume area now. Okay. Uh, right here at 65. Price is bouncing. It's pulling back probably to the B block, I'm pretty sure. There it goes. All right. So price is trading, is it keeps pulling back to this level right here. And you got this swing level right here, okay? You see it? It's pulled back a few times. It's pulled back here, try to push up, and then it pushed lower back into this area again. So um, here's the thing. When price came back down here, it was testing the area demand it right here, okay? And then price bounced. Um, tried to push higher. Couldn't test the highs. Because we have these swings here and price stopped right here. Okay. Price bounced in this area right here. Rejected out this area here. When it, I just showed this. Price rejected out this area right here within the swing on this pullback here. It formed an area of supply. Okay. Price pushes lower. Comes back down. Tests the area of demand. Pulls back to the area of supply. You know, you're going to, right here, you're going to, this is an area but short. Price pushes lower. Then it pulls back to that same area again. So, um, Right now we're moving sideways. That's all price is doing. You can see it now it's wedging. And the best thing to do uh, when you see price wedging like this, where it can't make any higher highs or higher lows, you mean it break up, making a higher, uh, a higher high above this high right here at 79 or at right here, or break below and break below 56 area, then you just stand down. Because uh, this is where a lot of people make uh, mistakes at and get stopped out. Okay. And uh, they always, you know, why can't I make money? Why can't I make money trading, um, you know, in the market? Well, that's because they can't, for one, they can't, they're not able to um, read the market. And that's understanding market analysis, understanding what the market, being able to read the market and understanding what it's trying to do. And you have to be able to understand at key levels what the market's going to do, like supply and demand areas, you know, where price bounces away from a major level or from a level, when it pulls away from it, it's creating area demand. And we don't push and pull the market. So when prices drop, drops down back, or, or you know, retraces the pulls back to an area where there is a, a level at, well, the moment that it drives away from that area, what happens there? What has happened here? Well, there's an area of demand. There's an area where um, more buying took place, which means more money entered the market, which means when the price, when the price is driven away from it, the banks, the institutions, they're going to want to come back to that area because they know there's money sitting out there to collect. So they're going to come back to it. That just makes sense. That's pure economics, guys. Okay? That's, that's, that's the nature of how money, the money moves and flows through the market. And you have to be the one to understand that, to be able to um, jump on the bandwagon with the, the big players and, and make the money with them. So if not, they're going to stop you out. And if you don't understand that, then you can't sit here and worry about, you know, be, be questioning yourself, why am, I, why am I a good trader? Why can't I make money trading? It's because you don't fully understand what the, what, what's really going on in the market. And until you figure that out, uh, understand what's really going on in the market, meaning who's really driving the force of the market, who's really pushing the market, and you understand how to trade with them, then you're not going to be consistent. That's just pure facts, guys. Okay? So understand that. It's key to trading. All right. Right now, I'm just going to hold tight. Why? Because the market's in a wedge. I mean, I'm just going to be straight up, flat out honest with you. The market is in a wedge. And we have just too much congestion going on. I don't like this area here. So I'm, I'm going to stand down, guys. I'm going to pause the video and be back once I see something uh, price either break up or break lower. And then, you know, I'll be back. Okay. So this right here at 930 and 940, this was a good area to go long at because when price, um, Pull back to this area right here. This was within this trading level right here. 
Um, price pullback actually broke this low here, but it pulled back. I'm still within this area here, this level here. Um, and when price, basically what it did was when it pulled back to this level, it pulled away from it, okay? All right, now we got the man sitting there again, okay? Even though it's price kind of stair stepping down, when price pulls back to it, that's the bank, that's the institution's coming back, guys. Collect the money here, and this is an opportunity to go long. You know, it's got to fill kind of these areas here because there's really no swings or anything primarily stopping it on the 12 range looking at it. And, and more likely, price will come back up here and test this area right here, and which it did, okay? So, um... So that's what's going on now. Price is still moving sideways. Um, so let's see. Hmm. Let's wait and see what happens here. Okay, so the market is still pulling side moving sideways, guys, and I'm um, trying to see what's going on here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm long here, back up to the VPOC. Okay. Ah, uh, got filled on one contract. Come on, hit it again. Ah. There we go. Got filled. Um, I saw a price breaking this area right here, guys. Basically, I want to pull back to this area right here. Um, this area right here, price rejecting it. So. Uh, prices break broke above. See the swing to the downside right here. Price broke above right here, and basically was on a pullback. So the, the entry actually would have been um, right here at sixty five, and price pulled back right here. So um, price is going to have to pull. It's going to break up. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, if price breaks, let's see. Let me look at something right quick. Uh, it's gonna be a tough one. Yeah, let me see what happens here because price has to pull back now and test this area sitting right here. Let's see. Um, yeah, right. I say right around, right around here at sixty-five. To be honest with you, so I'm gonna show you right quick. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, right here. I'm not sure price is going to come down here and hit it though, but 66. Okay, I got a contract sitting at 66, and then one sitting at 65 and a half. Um, this would be on a pullback if price came back down here real quick, but if price kind of, yeah, okay. So it bounced at 66 and three quarters. So, okay, okay. So I'm gonna wait, close that out, and see what happens. So I'm taking three little trades uh, so far. Give me a second, I'll pull it up. Yeah, three little trades so far. We got 29 ticks right now. I'm just trading the uh, scalp along here. All right. Sixty-five. Let's do something like um, sixty-six. Okay. I'm not saying price is going to come down here, but it's kind of it's kind of already kind of bounced off this area here. But um, um, let me see here. Price is wedging and I'm just scalping guys, that's all I'm doing. Okay. Sixty five. Yeah. Do something like this. Price can bounce right here where it's at. 66 and two quarter and at 66 and a quarter see it bouncing right there okay the price is really wedging i'm just gonna 
might even take a chance around this area here. I'm going to stand down because we're at the VPOC and I'm just going to be, uh, when you don't, you know, if it don't feel right and they just don't do it. I mean, I was looking for a little quick little scalp there, but I'm going to wait, guys, for a better chance. All right, let's see what's happening here. Um, looks like Price may uh, try to, uh, okay, I'm long. Long on a scalp. Okay, come on now. Come on. Hmm. Come on. Looks like price is trying to push a little lower. Okay. I'm seeing here price is trying to do here. I must just scout this and get out real quick. Yeah, price is pulling. Ah, okay. Come on. This is why I don't like trading around in areas of wedges. Man. Price is back down here to uh, support though, so um Sixty-five. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. And it should push up here. Okay. Ah. Okay. Come back in. Price should push up. We should get a push up here. Come on. Ah, 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 ah. All right. I'm just scalping, guys. That's all I'm doing. Price breaks through this area right here. Really breaks above 65. Uh, 64 and three quarters, it'll come up here and test 66 and a quarter. Oh, come on. Push up. Okay, I'm taking it out. Yep, I'm taking it. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hmm. Yeah, let me take the trade out. It needs to break above this area right here.
Yeah, I need to break this area right here, but we don't have too much above it if it breaks that area. So, yeah, there it goes. Okay. It's going to come up here. All right. <clears throat> come on. Come on. There we go. All right. See, I'm just scalping, guys. So all I'm doing on scalp, I knew, I knew it was going to test right here at 66 and a quarter at least. Okay. Just kind of pull back, played around here at the bottoms. At the bottoms were just um, um, demand at, down here at the bottom of support. So, okay. Um, not the best little interest there, but just scalping along. Uh, so I'm up 42 ticks right now. Those little quick little entries. Okay. All right. 42 ticks. And that gives uh, 525 right now. Okay. That's $525 right now. So I've been trading 20 minutes pretty much of up 525 right now. So I'm just having to scalp because we're ranging. Um, no big moves. So I'm just scalping. I said price to hit 66.25 and it's hit it already, guys. All right. So basically we right now we could actually pull back probably to the VPOC. So um okay. Um I'm looking to see one sec. Yeah. Or at least to this area here at 68. So I'm gonna scalp right here. Come on. There we go. Right here, I know it'll come up to right here, okay? Price broke this area right here at 65. So basically, on a pullback, let's see what happened here. 65, we're breaking at 65. All right, price took this area here out. Really, you want to see it come back to, and it did. It broke above 65, okay? So on a pullback, this would have been an entry right here. When price pulled back right here, right here at the close of this candle, when price pushed up, was the entry to go long up to 68. Okay, 68 right there. Okay, so 65. Yep, yeah. okay, so that's your scalping, guys. That's all I'm doing is scalping. Um, because I, I, I don't see, and you got to get good at doing that because you know sometimes the market won't you know, to put you in some tough situations or tough areas to where, like, when it's ranging like this, I mean, how can you really trade? Unless you're trading and waiting for price to come back to the bottoms here at an area of support, bouncing off of it and then take your trade. So I'm trading micro swings, is what I'm doing. Now I'm up 49 ticks, I'll show you. Had 42, now I'm up 49. Just uh, scalp for seven ticks right there. Just scalping along. All right, so this may be an opportunity here. If we're back down to this area here, I'll show you. I'm going long. Ah. Uh, one contract. Let's see if I can get field on this. Okay, one contract. So that's uh, another fifty bucks right there. Four ticks. So I knew price would come back. Then when price came back down to this area, this was the pullback right here. All right, price broke through. When price pushed down, swung lower. Right, price turned back around, broke to the upside right here at sixty-five on the pullback right here. Is what you're looking for. Okay, there was enough area to feel right here in a sense. The price may come up. It should come up here and test sixty-six and a quarter. It should. Um, so I'll show you, okay. Come on, don't do that, okay. Come on. Take out right there, boom. See what I'm saying? I know, I know. I'm, I'm trading my micro swings, guys. In a sense, on the pullbacks to to little levels. Okay, so that there, 64 ticks now. Okay, 64 ticks. All right. So we had 525 uh, for the day. Now I'm up 800 dollars for the day. Okay, that's simple. Okay.
So in 25 minutes, almost now, 24 minutes, up, five, eight, up $800, 64 ticks, okay? So let's see here. And we're still, we're still ranging. See, I'm trading within a range, oh, excuse me, within a wedge, and still able to profit by looking at what the market's doing following price action, okay? Price broke above 65, boom, we're pulled back, and rejected that area there. I knew price would come up here and test, watch it. Okay, it's already hit, 50, it already hit 66, right, on the pullback, right? So it pulls back to 64 or 65 area, and like I said, it will come back and, and test 66, 66 and a quarter, somewhere there. And it's already done so. Even though it's a point, you know, a point and a quarter, it's still something, you know? It's going to come up here. Okay, so, all right, now it's definitely wedging. We're like wedging, wedging big time. So it's wedging, like I call this a wedge within a wedge because primarily you have, let me show it to you. You got a wedge here, a wedge here, right? And then you got a wedge here and a wedge here. So price is just wedging, man. it's just wedging, that's all it's doing. Um, so it's not really breaking any lower lows, any lows, lower lows, meaning lows, or breaking any um, highs. So swing highs, like this is the swing right here. That's the low of the swing. It's not breaking through that low, and it's not breaking the high of that swing, okay? So that's what it's doing right now. And I'm going to stand down this point here and just kind of probably pause the market. But, yeah, I just want to talk to you guys. I guess what I'm going to say right now, I'm going to go ahead and say it. You know, a lot of you guys are going to be struggling in the market trying to figure out why can't I make money. Um, and I do get emails from people saying that, hey, today was a good day. Yesterday was a well, today was a good day. Yes, it was a bad day. My trade is not consistent. Um, you know, that's because you have to be consistent with the strategy. And a lot of people are they jump into a trade. Here's the thing: there's, there's levels of, or um, I guess categories that people might fall in. Um, one of the biggest things, elements to trading, is that what people find themselves uh, falling into is the emotion side of things, the psychology side of things not able to grasp the emotions you know they see themselves making money one day the next day they think they can go out there and make the same amount and you can it's just that um they kind of get hazed or fogged up by looking at what the market is actually doing and they become impulsive in trading they jump in and out of trades or they um don't know where to step you know get out of the trade at and then they think the market's going to come back around and and they can make their money back whatever the case is so uh, and that's greed, uh, in a sense, like um, being impulsive. You've got to be patient. You've got to be able to, you know, take a loss, take a loss. Every man, every man takes a loss. You just got to know when to to get back in the in the game and and and, and do it again to where you can make up that loss. Um, so first, you got to be able to read the market, and that's the biggest thing. I think that's the biggest thing: uh, reading the market and following price action, like I always say. Um, and if you could do that. And you consistently do that day in day out, then you know you're, you know you, you can make money every single day, um, and then you're you're perfected so well to where, you know you'll be able to trade even micro swings um, and by identifying small movements and price action. So that's the key. It's just don't get frustrated and think you can't make money doing this because if you did it a few days and then all of a sudden you had a day or two of losses, well you've already know you can do it. It's just maybe go back fine tuning what you may have you know fine tuning or touching up on what you um were doing prior to maybe you just lost that touch for that day or because the market is different every single day it's a different it's, it's a it's it's you know it's just like any other creature out there it's constantly changing but you got to understand that it's a game in, in a sense as well and understanding that that somebody else is driving the, the force of behind uh what's pushing the market and if you can trade and get your mind frame or your mindset on how they trade, then you, you'll you be in the right position to be able to do it every single day and make good money. That's the key. All right, so the market's pulling lower, it's pushing lower now, right? So we are at this area down here support again. And uh, we're just kind of figure out what the market's doing here. Um, let's see. So it's middle low here, pushed up, retrace, middle low here, moving sideways, can't break. So we're going to break this low here now. Um, so when the market 
push pulled back right here okay this area retraced back push higher and came back down here broke this lower area that was pretty much the banks or you know the institutions collecting and there, there was an area of demand sitting there at that point and the market came down here and grabbed this money sitting down here this liquidity so then uh when it rejected out of this area and pushed higher it came back there was more another area of demand was sitting there this candle right here wicked out here at the bottom so you have an area here um whether it was uh area, another area of demand is what i'm trying to say at the bottom here and when it rejected out of this area uh primarily price pushed up to test this high right here within this swing so within this swing right here just push down pull back and push lower we have you know kind of swings within swings so so let's see what happens um let's see i'm kind of paying attention I'm trying to pay attention here guys what's going on hmm Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So market still moving sideways, but yeah. So we we had more demand sitting down here. Price projects out of this area pushes higher. Now it's pulling back to this area here. So you know, just a matter of what could happen here. Um. Price could um, potentially push higher, but we'll see what happens. Okay. I'm long. Oh, okay, come on. Trying to get filled here. Okay. Maybe a little late on this trade here. I did get on the trade late so hopefully we get up here and get filled now push up there we go got filled back to the VPOC okay um that was a little rejection there here at the bottom you guys see a little W down here right push down pull back push down boom broke above W created right here okay so I took a little quick scalp right there all right quick little scalp I'm trying to pull up my uh, trade performance now so I can show you guys. So we had 64 ticks. And now I'm up 72 ticks. Okay. 72. All right. So now we are at 900 even for the day so far. Okay. And um, I'll show you guys that. I have no problem. Have no problem showing you. So far, 900 for today. Okay, all right, 900 for a day. That's 72 ticks. Got it. Okay, and uh, it is currently 11 o'clock right now. So I haven't been trading for too long. Uh, my price is coming back down. Probably to check this area here, but um, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah. No, so I stand down now because we're at the VPOC. So I'm going to stand down uh, in this area here. I'm, I'm going to look for maybe possibly get into one more trade. If we can't, then I'll just go ahead and end this recording here and get it uploaded to you guys. And hopefully you guys are watching it now. But, um, I mean, you can see we're just really, really, really in a wedge, moving sideways, consolidating in this area. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so the market is just, um, just ranging, just moving back and forth around the uh, POC, and you can see it both on the four range and on the twelve range chart here. So I, I'm not going to do anything. I've been waiting a while for it. We're still in a wedge uh, for kind of to kind of break out, but. I'm not going to do any more trading at this moment here um, unless I see something throughout the day. But right now, I'm going to pause my trading. Um, up $900 uh, for the session so far trading and uh, basically scalping the market. 
uh, on the uh, e mini S&P 500 futures. But that's going to be it, guys. Um, I hope you guys can take some valuable information away from this video here about, you know, if you're getting not being a profit in the market and not being able to make money, you know, kind of kind of figure out what you kind of figure out what you're doing wrong, you know. Um, and it could be just a simple fact that you're not sticking with your trading plan every single day. But uh, either way, I appreciate everyone who's been um, following the videos, who subscribed to the channel. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, if this is your first time watching the video, please take the time to go ahead and subscribe. And make sure to hit that little, um, I guess, a little bell notification or bell icon um, shape feature next to the subscribe button somewhere in that general location. That's just the uh, post notification um, alert that if you click that, it'll each time that I post a video to my channel, it will send you a notification, I guess maybe via email, maybe to your mobile device, however you have it set up. Um, it'll alert you each time that I post one of these um, recorded live trading sessions here um, that you can follow. So, uh, guys, I appreciate everyone watching the video today. If you're trading, please stay safe in the market, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Be safe. Goodbye.